What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome to our GH Tech TV and today let's see some useful tips and tricks, shortcuts, features of LETV LE1S. So all you have to do is sit back, relax and watch this video till the end. As you can see, it's a huge device. Reaching to the top corners might be difficult at times. Hence, you can swipe from anywhere to get a notification tray. And not only that, even the password menu on the lock screen adjusts the way you hold it. That is, if you hold it in the right hand, it appears on the right side, or if you hold it in the left hand, it appears on the left side. So these gestures will enable to use the phone single-handedly. Now, as you can see, you don't have the application tray. All the applications will reside on the home screen. To get the application tray, you can install Google Now Launcher, which will also make the phone much more fluid and also give you that Nexus kind of stock Android experience. Now, before you install this launcher, you must know that some core gestures like swipe anywhere on the screen to get to notification tray won't work. If you feel the internal storage is less, no issues, you can connect pen drives to expand the storage and it works seamlessly, be it media files or general files. But one thing which you should make sure is to get a USB to Type-C OTG connector because Type-C is relatively new as compared to micro USB. If you tap on the multitasking of the recent apps key, you will have the access to application shortcuts on the top, quick toggles, recently used applications and also media controls. Now the good thing is you can arrange them according to your needs or preference. Now you can swipe down on the recently used applications to lock them to their positions so that they stay in the memory and do not get accidentally closed and you can clear the individual applications which you don't need. In this way, you can manage the RAM pretty efficiently. Now let's see how to take the screenshots. You can press and hold on the home button and the volume down button at the same time and the screenshot thus captured can be accessed through notification tray or the gallery. The other way is to use the shortcut provided in the control center. Under display settings, you have the scale view through which you can adjust the size and the distribution of the content displayed on the screen. You also have the video display enhancement for extra saturation and smoothness. Then you can enable LED notification light for calls, messages, emails and etc. You can also toggle between different color modes like vivid, natural, soft if in case you are not satisfied with the color reproduction of the display. Now under notification management, you can set priority or block notifications for specific applications. This is super useful guys. For example, if I set priority for calendar notifications, then they will be displayed on top of other notifications. Now under security settings, you can use screen pinning if you want your friends or kids to be in one particular application that you specify so that they don't mess up with your other personal data. Now if you head on to the permissions, under app permissions, you can control which applications can access your call logs, messages, Wi-Fi, etc. So by using this feature, you can prevent any third-party applications from spying on your personal data. You do have scheduled power on and off option through which you can decide when your phone should switch off or switch on automatically. Under accessibility, you have magnification gestures, that is, you can triple press to magnify the screen for you. You can use single finger to move between pages and you can use two fingers to navigate in the same page. Under accessibility itself, you can use power button to end the calls. You have the option to prevent pocket dial and you can also use left-handed mode. You can also record calls on this device and the respective settings will be available in the dialer itself. Now finally, let's see how to customize this device. You can press and hold on the screen or on the multitasking button and from there you can change the wallpapers, add themes which will change the look and feel of the device by changing the icons, notification tray etc. And also you can add widgets to the home screen. So that's it guys. If you feel this video was informative then give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and also follow me on Twitter so that you keep yourself updated with latest technology and most importantly thanks for watching.